This basil smoked mackerel sauce is the perfect sauce for all of your favorite things like boiled yam, boiled plantains, boiled potatoes, bread, and even rice or pasta. I keep this sauce on hand so that breakfast is always a breeze. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Buki. I'm a food blogger and I live in Lagos, Nigeria. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this delicious mackerel sauce that I made with basil that gives it so much flavor and is so good. For this recipe, I'm using smoked mackerel, but you can use um, regular mackerel, just boil it and debone it. I'm also going to make my pepper mix from tatashes, tomatoes, onions, habaneros and garlic. I'm using canola oil and I'm using fresh basil. For seasoning, I'm using stock cubes, white pepper, thyme, curry powder and some salt. So the first thing I'm going to do is blend all my peppers together. So the onions, the tomatoes, the tatashe, which is paprika peppers, and the garlic. Blend this all together. It doesn't have to be smooth or you can decide how you want it. I'm not blending mine to be completely smooth because I like it rough. So I'm just going to blend it roughly with some water and that's all. Next, I'm going to debone the fish. I bought this smoked mackerel from the market, already smoked. I didn't smoke it myself, but you can buy um, your frozen mackerel and smoke it yourself. I don't know how to smoke it, so I didn't attempt to smoke it myself. Plus, I didn't want the extra hassle of smoking it. But I like the flavor of smoked mackerel, so I opted for smoked mackerel. If you don't like it, you can use... You can just boil your mackerel and the bone. So I'm taking out the bones. The bones are really big so you can see them, which is one of the reasons I like this fish. Plus, it has a lot of flavor. It has some really good flavor. Plus, it's also an oily fish. So if you're weight conscious or if, you know, you can't eat a lot of oil, then maybe this is not the fish for you. You can try a different type of fish. Another thing you can do is to buy fresh fish or frozen fish and fry it and it will work well in this recipe. But I like smoked mackerel and I like the flavor. I don't always use smoked mackerel though because um, I don't always have smoked mackerel. I use my regular mackerel that I season and boil and the bone to make this sauce, especially for my son. He doesn't like smoked mackerel, so I make two types of sauce and he doesn't have the basil, so that's a different type of sauce. And I have the recipe for that on my YouTube channel that I'm going to link here if you want to check it out. So now that all of the bones are taken out, this is what it looks like. Plus, I dip them in big chunks, but feel free to tear it completely if that's what you like. In a pan, I'm going to put some oil and when it's hot, I'm going to add in the blended peppers. You can see that my peppers is still a bit rough. It's not completely smooth and that's how I like it. But feel free to blend yours smoothly if you prefer. So I'm going to stir all of this up and I'm going to cover the pot and just let it cook for a couple of minutes and then I'll add in the seasoning. starting to dry now I'm going to add in my stock cubes the dry thyme the white pepper curry powder and some salt and I'm going to stir all this together and just let it continue to cook do this on medium heat so that it doesn't burn if you want to boil your peppers before you do this that's absolutely fine but i don't like to take too much time so i don't boil my peppers i just cook everything in the oil next i'm going to add in my flaked mackerel you can see that the chunks are big because that's how i like it make sure you take all of the bones out 
I can still see some bones in my sauce, which I had to take out when I started um, cooking. Next, I'm going to add in the basil because the sauce is almost ready. This sauce is really, really easy, simple, simple to make. I'm going to add in the basil just as the sauce is getting ready to come off the heat so that it doesn't overcook because basil is really, really tender. I'm going to give it another one minute to cook and all the oil will just float to the top. And this sauce is ready. This sauce is best eaten with boiled yam. Oh my God, I love this sauce with boiled yam. Sometimes I like it with boiled plantain or boiled potatoes. I also like it with bread. Oh my God, it's so yummy. But you can eat it with pasta, with rice, with beans, with anything that you want to eat it with and it will be perfect. I'm going to enjoy mine now with some hot boiled yam. I can't wait. Thank you so much for watching the simple recipe. I hope you guys will try it out. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram at The Kitchen Muse when you do. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel also by clicking the button here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Leave me your comments and your suggestions down below and I'll respond to them. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.